<laughs> my people, no wonder they say wonder shall never end. I mean, like seriously, can this story be real? Anyway, let's find out. <laughs> beautiful people out there you welcome back to my youtube channel my name is lady sylvia and if today is your first time of coming across this youtube channel please do me a favor by hitting the subscribe button and also the notification icon so that whenever i upload any video you will always be the first to be notified and to my returning subscribers may god continue to bless you all in jesus name amen when i was very small there was one certain pastor in my village then one day he was preaching, he said, there was a certain man walking down the street and uh, he met the devil sitting close to the gutter crying. And the man went towards the, the devil and he said, ah, devil, why are you here crying? And the devil said, my brother, I am tired of this world. Both what I know and what I don't know, the whole world is saying I am the cause. All right. So anything, something happened, and I always and I remember people say, "Na devil hard work, na devil cause." My mind will just drew back to, to those years when I was very small. But what is going on this world nowadays? Because the world is actually taking a different shape. The world is changing every day. We don't even know where we are going to. Even in five minutes, I don't know what is going to happen. But the situation that happens this day is, people will always say, "The Lord said, the Lord spoke to me." I should do this, I should do that. Okay? And this video we are about to watch, after watching it, I love I mean, I watched the video, watched and watched and watched, and I begin to you know, begin to contemplate on the issue that can this actually be real? Can such a thing happen that a mother would die in the presence of the children? Okay, and the children will lock up the dead body inside the house living with the dead body, going to their various uh, businesses, as I mean, living a normal life without feeling bad, without crying, without feeling sorrowful, without letting the people, even in the compound, know that their mother died. Oh, I don't know, you know? So when I was just like discussing this issue with somebody and the person just laughed and said, ah, my sister, don't be surprised when you also call me tomorrow, ah, my brother, you didn't go to work today. I will also tell you, my sister, the Lord said I shouldn't go to work. Why? Because the sun is too much. <laughs> you understand? Because what is going on these days now is the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said. But there's one thing I want each and every one of you out there to know. Any sin you commit on this earth can be forgiven or shall be forgiven. But there's one thing you need to know. Blasphemy, speaking against the Holy Ghost, can never, never be forgiven. That is what the Bible says. If you are reading the same Bible I read, James Bible, or the Bible of the book of the Lord Jesus Christ, that is what the Word of God says. That blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, or speaking, the Lord said when the Lord has not spoken, that sin can never be forgiven. Anyway, let not look as if maybe I am just talking. I want you guys to watch this video carefully. The 78 year old woman, Mrs. Agbenese Oshoma, resides at number 13 Edema Kyoto Street off Universal Road, Benin City. Report revealed that the woman died in her room nine days ago in the presence of two of her doctors who are between the ages of 58 and 60. But the children refused to inform neighbors and the owner of the house that their mother has died. They were still living in the same apartment as they went on peacefully. With their daily activities without disturbance nine days after strong odor started emitting from the apartment but when asked by the neighbors of the odor the children said all was well the people forcefully entered the apartment only to find the decomposing body of the woman an occupant of the house mrs maria okaka said the stench from the apartment forced the neighbors to enter the house where the decomposing body was found on the floor. She said the police has since been contacted, adding that neighbors want thorough investigation into the incident. Where you call people, I made a conference search everywhere. You call me saying that their mother died for his house. 
Oh, not bed or just ground? They say not ground, they put on. But then I pass it, they don't follow the enter. Okay. Well, not tell police. You don't tell police. The two children, Teresa Zuberu and Grace Osagede, said God asked them not to tell the neighbors that their mother has died, hence they decided to live with her in the same apartment. What made you not to tell the people that your mother has died? The Lord said I shouldn't tell. Okay. That's what I initially... initially okay, now that people are aware, what's going to happen now? It is still in the hands of the Lord. Though. Is that why you didn't tell people? Yes, he said, I should, we should, he said the Lord said we should not tell anybody. That is only between me and her. As at press time, the owner of the house has made contact with an ambulance to evacuate the decomposing body to the mortuary. This is the apartment where the composing body of a 78-year-old woman was found at the Inversa area of Benin City. But the circumstances surrounding the death of this woman is yet to be ascertained. We have left that now for the police to find out. In Benin. Okay, my people, you have watched that video. I mean, <laughs> Italian will say estrano. It's somehow, you know, because when I watch the video, I watch it and I watch like, Okay, look at those two matured ladies. I mean, are they not married? Don't they have children? How can they have 58 to 60 years be living with their mother and such a thing happened? And even the way they dress, deeper life. Is there deeper life that still dressed like this, this, this? I'm not trying to say they are deeper life. I mean, from their dressing, which portrays the dressing of a Christian or the dressing of a born again. I mean, anybody who see that kind of dressing with a woman, you know, will say, ah, all this was not church people. You understand my point? I mean... God told them, according to the woman, that they should not tell their neighbor about the death of their mother. This is something. I believe there is something we don't know yet. Because according to them, they have to leave the investigation to the police. No, police is our friend. Yeah, we all know that. So I believe there is more to this than meets the eye. There is a secret behind what just happened. Anyway, let's be watching. And please, feel free, as you have watched this video, Please share this video, make it go viral, so that other people out there will learn a lesson. But one thing that makes me feel bad in this video is, what now, for example, any man who is not a Christian now, how do you expect them to become born again? Because they will say, ah, it's like the, Lord, uh, the God you are worshipping is wicked. And I also want each and everyone out there to know that we cannot provoke God to do what he's not supposed to do. No. God is God. He is no man. He's a merciful father. Yes, we all know that. But we cannot provoke him to do what he's not supposed to do. I mean, somebody will just wake up. The Lord say, the Lord spoke to me. The Lord do this. Anyway, guys, you have watched the video. Please feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section what you think about this video. Share this video and give a thumbs up for the video, which is the like button. And as you do that, may God bless you. And remember, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Stay blessed. This will be ending my video for now. Till I come your way again next time. When I don't say I don't know anything. Now what do I see? Now I talk. God bless you all. Bye. -bye.